Hello guys, it's Ryan Ho back with another video. Today I want to talk about NVIDIA broadcast. So before I made a video on the RTX voice, which kind of had a microphone and speaker. Now we have the camera feature on the newest broadcast. So it kind of combines all three of them together and there's no longer NVIDIA voice. Now the camera comes with some cooler features. Obviously I'm using a C922, which is Logitech camera. It's like standard streaming camera for like a hundred bucks. I'm using the highest setting of 1080p at 30 frames. And this is one of the options is background replacement. Obviously we've seen background replacement on a lot of different um, services like zoom and stuff, but this is just kind of a higher quality. There's less like pixelation when I'm moving, like, it follows you pretty well. The edges are cut really well as well. I mean, you can still see some like white lines in the background because my true background looks like this. This is what my background looks like. It's pretty boring. Not something I would want to use if I was streaming. And this is it without the blur. I mean, it's just, it's pretty standard. So using the replacement makes it just so much better. It makes the atmosphere look better as well. And it's kind of cool, right? So then, the other feature has background removal. So background removal is interesting because the best way to show this is if I move this out of the frame and turn this on. So now you can see that it kind of cuts me out and takes less real estate, which is really nice because then if you're streaming, your whole entire frame isn't blocking all the stuff that people want to see. Instead, like, you know, I can block the stuff over here and they can't read it, you know? So I think this is probably the best one to use but if you want to like spice it up with a nice background for sure background replacement is cool now the last option is auto frame auto frame is interesting because there's different zoom levels right so for my zoom levels i can use i can use this zoom where it's kind of just normal right and then i can zoom in choosing them out. I think all the way is a little bit too ridiculous. Like you don't want that. This is like already a lot. And then basically if I move around, the frame will follow me. How actually useful this is, is questionable. Unless like, it's kind of cool if you're doing like some like talking shots and then you want to do some like interesting movements and stuff like that, which is cool. But like the real application of this when you're live streaming seems kind of distracting and annoying. I would probably not recommend it, honestly. I feel like the background removal is still the superior option. And then of course, background replacement is also really cool. Auto framing is like, if you wanna do some cool like video things, I would could kind of see it being used. But besides that, I wouldn't recommend it. Of course, my favorite feature of NVIDIA broadcasts is the microphone. So right now I have noise removal on my Blue Yeti microphone. And basically I have a fan playing in the background. So if I turn off my noise removal, you should hear my fan playing in the background and it's not as pleasant, it's harder to hear. So we're gonna turn noise removal back on and it should remove that away so you don't hear it. So my favorite thing is actually the noise removal. It's really great and something I would recommend. And speakers, speakers, I, I'm kind of like, it's kind of a niche thing. Like, I don't think you really need it unless like the people you're playing with are like blasting noise or they have like the keyboard sounds in the background that are annoying. You could turn it on and mute it. But for me, I don't find that I really need it. Most people's stuff is pretty good, decent, or they're not talking the whole entire time. So I don't have to worry about it. But I think it's kind of a cool option to have the speaker do the same thing. And I think that's kind of cool as well. But yeah, overall, I think NVIDIA broadcast is really cool. You can, I combine it with OBS because I'm just comfortable with OBS and how well it works and how versatile it is. And that's kind of my preference or my choice. But, you know, it is what it is. So one last thing about NVIDIA broadcast is if you look at the system requirements, it only supports the newer graphics cards from the past like two years. So if you have a 10 series card, you're kind of out of luck. You have to have an RTX 2060 at the minimum and anything better than that. And that's kind of, that kind of sucks, honestly. But I think NVIDIA just wants you to upgrade to their newer cards because they're trying to sell the newer cards. And 
that's just the way it is. Unless someone finds kind of a loop around to make the 10 series work right now, you can only use it with RTX cards from NVIDIA. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe down below. It really helps my video out. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.